Hello everyone and welcome to Valheim. Today we are going to be going into the Black Forest, deeper into the Black Forest. If you caught the last episode, we went to these edges and these edges. I found some copper, uh, but what I've not found is any burial chambers. So we've got to go deeper, got to go across the little rivers and see if we can find things. <laughs> we need cores so that we can make the furnaces to smelt the metal that we're going to get. A little bit has changed since the last time I did come through and put a ton of work into cutting trees and building a defensive wall. So it goes all the way around the village. I still have some little patches to put in like the ground over here. Um, but I did go all the way around after our invasion the last time. Unfortunately, in the time that I was doing that, I did get a second The Forest is Moving invasion, um, which did not go well. I mean, I survived. It could have been worse, but I had half the wall built. So they all kind of poured in through the open spots in the wall. And then they weren't going after me. They were ripping apart my house. They were ripping apart my beehives. They were going primarily after poor sausages or sausage. <laughs> so our one star boar that I worked so hard to get was clinging to life. The health bar there was probably about to where the star is like almost dead. So I was chasing them. I was chasing them around, trying to get them to aggro to me. It was, it was a bit of a mess, especially since I was building. So I didn't even have my weapons on me which was a bit of a rookie mistake. I didn't have my bow on me. I had everything put away. Uh, it didn't go well. Um, I also, let me see if I can show this off. The other boar is taming. I went out, I built like a secondary, can I get up on this roof maybe? I built a secondary, come on. I'm crouched so that my, ah, I'm gonna come right down the other side. Um, nope, it's not gonna work, not on this kind of roof. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I build a second addition to the the boar pen and I got a boar into it. Um, once Sausage was tamed, so I didn't have to worry about triggering him. I lured one in, closed it off, and now I'm working on taming that one. It's not a starred boar, it's just a regular boar. But I will take that middle wall out when the second one is tame. And then there's a chance that eventually I'll get a one star baby. When that happens... Um, we'll eliminate any non-starred boars and go from there with a herd of one stars. The more stars, the more materials. So if you figure a berry to feed them and then you get a piglet back, you get more in return for your berry if you have higher tiered boars. Or any that applies to wolves as well later. You can tame wolves. So that's the goal. If I could get my hands on a two-star boar, <laughs> we would be trying to go for that. Um... But yes, so that's where we're at. Let me come inside. I didn't really do anything inside except I think I had some storage chests. Nothing exciting, nothing crazy. I did upgrade my helmet. I upgraded my shield again. So that is upgraded. I might have upgraded my ax when I was doing all the trees. And that's where we're at there. I need more fire arrows, preferably. We've got feathers, resin, and wood. Let's make some more of those. Just in case I run into trouble. I mean, I'm hoping you run into trouble. That's perfect. Almost a full stack. Okay. That away. This can go here. And food. Food. Nope. Right click. <laughs> right click to eat the food. All right. Let's start with this one closest to me. It is a longer swim. I have to be more careful about my stamina getting across it. But it also seems to be a bigger black forest. So I've swim. Oh no. Are you kidding? Another one? Okay, this is getting a little out of control. <laughs> um, there you are. Oh, right into the hill. 
All right, the good news is hopefully my wall is gonna do its job. My new boars are safe. Nope, don't wanna get stuck by the brute. I'm glad I just ate. That was the other thing that tends to happen to me here. I keep doing these without eating in between. Ah. I'm tempted to try Stag Breaker for this, although I don't know. Stag Breaker's so slow. I feel like they have to get real close to you. How did that not work? That should have worked. The Shaman hasn't showed up, which is a little bit concerning. Um, oh, there he is. He's back there. Just everything. Ah. Gotta try to stay in the circle so it doesn't undo the, um, timer. This is a timed event. You do not want to, uh, mess it up. Shaman just keeps healing everybody. I mean, ideally, the shaman's the one you want to go for. You want to get the shaman out of the fight. Uh, but that's easier said than done when he's in the back of the group. Okay. I'm gonna run down the clock. Tempted. There's just so many of them. Like, I could go in with my shield and probably axe. Here we go. All right, so now they're gonna... They're gonna slow down. Some of them are gonna head away. Usually the Brute and the Shaman are the first ones to wander off. How did I miss? He was right in front of me. Luckily... They're not really doing that much damage anymore. And they hurt, but not much with their rock throwing. I mean, I'm sure if they were hitting me, hitting me, this might be a little worse. All right, let's see now if I can get the shaman. There we go. Finally. Come on. Yeah, see the brute pieced out. Oh, maybe he's coming back? Coming back? No, he's running. I think I made all those fire arrows. Too bad I, uh, don't have many left for this Black Forest adventure. Okay, we're going melee on the rest of this. Let's collect all our stuff. Maybe enough resin to make another batch of, uh, fire arrows? Let's see. All right, I was only able to make 20 more, one more stack of fire arrows. That's the best I could do. I ran around, picked everything up, and then repaired all my stuff and ran around and repaired the wall. The wall wasn't too bad, but there were a couple of places where some damage had been done. I'm going to try to swim it here. This is pretty shallow. I wonder if I could, like, eventually put a bridge across this. You have stamina when swimming, and if you run out of stamina when swimming, you will start to drown. I'm pushing it right now. This might be too much. Oh man, my rested bonus. Oh, is that worth swimming back for? It might be. Rested bonus affects how quickly your stamina regenerates. This might be not a very long trip now that it's so much later in the day. I mean, I was trying to set out first thing in the morning and that's not what happens. All right, let's head this way. It'd be really handy if there was just one real close to the edge. I'm just gonna take my ax out. These guys are like tree creatures. So ax works pretty well for them. Block it. Well, I got the block, but not the parry. If you can parry them, then they have like a knockback. And while they're uh, knockbacked, <laughs> you can uh, do some damage to them. 
Is this just a grayling? Looks like it. Let me see if I can do it. I'm not the best at parrying. Yeah, that was just a block. I did it too early. I am impatient. All right, let's sneak in here. I want to run in gung ho. One of the hardest parts about restarting this game when you have like an end game character, you've played through it a few times, is it doesn't take very long to outgrow an area of the map. So a little bit more gear and you can run through the Black Forest like nothing. So you have to remember like, no, I'm still a new squishy character. <laughs> And I should not just charge gung-ho into the Black Forest. Because I might not survive it. That's another good copper node. Uh, sometimes the blue fog is like a point of interest. It might be... Oh, there's one of these towers. Okay. One star gray dwarf. my feeling about this? Um... Okay, not the best, but the worst either. <sighs> okay, I can block them. There's a lot of them getting in on this fight, though. Stamina. You can only block them as long as you have the stamina to do so, too, so you gotta watch that. You run out of stamina when you're trying to block will not go well for you. Okay. There we go. Alright. I didn't have to use up any of my arrows. <laughs> Ideal situation. Alright, so they were guarding a stone tower. Let's go see what was in there. The later it gets, the worse it gets. Every biome is like that as well. Uh, this could very quickly turn into a not fun situation once it gets dark. A little patch of meadows in the middle. Kill some boar. Oh, that might be one right there. That flat rock. Oh, there's a skeleton outside of it too. That is, that is a burial chamber. Okay, here come the skeletons. I want to check this place out first. You can smash this stuff and you'll get fine wood and or supplies. All right, we're going to go club. Skeletons are made of bones, so they are not weak to like stab or that kind of stuff. Let's see, the chest is usually here under the stairs. Take all that rest of the skeletons are coming. They were coming. They'll fight the other stuff too, so they took out that boar for me. See, there's the parry. Okay. I thought there was another one. You're gonna tell me about this? Yep, you're gonna tell me about the treasure. Okay. Well, let's mark this. I call these BC for burial chambers. As you zoom out, this gets all very cluttered, so I try to keep my marking labels as concise as possible. They're all going to be abbreviations of some sort. All right, let's see if I can uh, get through some of this. Okay, you've usually got two sides, sometimes straight ahead is something as well. It might be a dead end. It's another door. These yellow mushrooms are really handy. We need these. They do seem to grow back if you come back. That's the other reason it's good to keep them marked. Now. Here's where we're going to use Stag Breaker. Alright, so here's how this works. You too far away? Might be too far away. See? We're doing damage to him through the door. Now, problem is, this will also eventually break the door. But now, 
We just destroyed that one star skeleton without any harm to ourselves. This is a dead end. Okay, there's something there. There we go. I couldn't see his health bar, so I didn't know if we were hurting him. Oh, Archer. And we're just going to go in on... A lot of times there's spawners in here too, so you got to kind of be careful about having them spawn behind you. Uh, dead end. Okay. Something on the other side of this door? Yes, there is. I see him. Still there? Yep. He's smashing at the door too. Smashing at the door is my thing. Okay, we could probably take him. Ooh, eating another bite. Yeah, don't run out of food down here. There's other stuff. There could be ghosts. The ghosts are no fun. The spawners are no fun. I am playing with a mod. I don't usually play modded games, but this is a very, very dark game in these areas, and there's no brightness display in game. You can't adjust your game brightness in the settings at all. So I did download a mod that like brightens it up, adjusts the gamma. Dead end. These are all randomly generated, so you'll get some weird dead ends and stuff. So that's why it's a little brighter. If you're familiar with the game or if you do decide to pick it up, this is not a accurate representation <laughs> of what you'll face in here. You, you need a torch or eventually from the trader, we can buy a headlamp. Something is there. Okay. Here's something. The noises freak me out. Okay, there's a door there. There you are. Oh. Okay. How many of you are there? One star. Oh no. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the door. Oh, this is bad. Come on. Oh, ouch. Okay. That was close. Yeah, the whole shut the door behind you thing doesn't work if you're on the wrong side of the door. Can I craft a campfire? I can. Okay, so you can stop anywhere. X to sit down. And I'm going to build up my rested bonus real quick right here while I uh, regenerate some health. All right, we've got a 10 minute rested bonus. I am back and healthy. Let me break this down. Really a good idea to keep fire supplies on you. Okay. You never know when you might need to uh, drop down a fire. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. That's a big nope. Okay. Rancid remains are the real bad ones. There is a spawner back there. I saw it. Just before. So he's gonna poison me. In addition to being really, really strong, he is also poisonous. I 
build a workbench down here? I never really thought about it. I don't know if wood. I am concerned about this door. <laughs> I'm hinging a lot on this door. Okay. Can I rush in and kill the spawner? I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. Let's do it. Yeah, see? Evil bone pile? There we go. Okay. Are we safe? We're safe. I think. <laughs> Alright. This is what we're after. These right here. Certling cores. Now we can make the smelter. We can make portals. We can make the kiln. The beautiful thing. We need a lot of them, though. The rock. We need a lot of them. If you can't find enough to make both the kiln, because you need a lot of charcoal to run the smelter. So if you can't find enough to do both, you can craft the smelter, make a bunch of charcoal. Or I'm sorry, craft the kiln, make a bunch of charcoal, and then take it apart. And um, then make your smelter. Since in this game you get all of your resources back when you break something down, just swap off and do them one at a time. Some of these are very small. Some of these crypts you don't get that much. Some of them I've gotten like eight or nine. This one seems like maybe it's going to be a little smaller. The sounds down here freak me out. Did I go in here? Yes, this is where we were. I also get lost very easily. <laughs> is this where we came out over here? Yes. Okay, we went this way too. Alright, so back through the door. There was a door here. Third one. Mushroom. How many does it take? Let's take a look. Uh, five. Okay, so we need five cores and we could get started on metal. And that is the end of this one. Okay, so only three. We didn't do the best. I definitely cleared out this whole side, right? Oh yeah, it was mostly dead ends. Okay. I like to do a quick double check because I don't have the best sense of direction, so it wouldn't surprise me if I missed an entire door. I do the same thing in the swamps. Head back, double check. Okay, is it nighttime? I feel like it might be nighttime, which is going to make this not fun getting home. Yeah, it is nighttime. Whenever it says you feel cold, that is nighttime. Alright, so we have to go out and around. I mean, this section of meadows here might not be that unsafe for me. Four bones. I hate to go all the way home if I don't have to because we definitely need to find another spot. The other thing you can do is, is it right click? No, right click gets rid of it. Put that back. Left click? Yeah. So left click puts an X on it. So now when I look, I know I already did that one. Sometimes you'll come across them when you're not ready to go in them. So it's handy to just be able to mark it and move on. I don't know, it might be worth going home just for the better uh, rested bonus. I am going to want that rested bonus. Okay, we found another one. What is this guy been fighting? Maybe some gray dwarfs? Whoa, hello. Two of you, and a one star. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh man, I didn't have time to mark this one. Oh no. <laughs> Doing fall damage to myself, that's just perfect. He is also hurt. 
take another hit from him. Yep. Okay, thank goodness for parry. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, hello. Don't need to deal with you on top of everything else. What was this that I can't pick up? Oh, the trophy. Most of the trophies in this game are useless. Some of them have recipes, but most of them are useless. Okay. Let me mark this one. My inventory's full. Kind of a problem. And I had to put down my stones. Let me throw out this leather instead and pick up some more stone. How much does it take me to make a fire campfire? Uh, five stone. Okay. I don't like how easily that thing hurt me. <laughs> it makes me feel unprepared for dealing with this, uh, Burial chamber, which is weird because we went through the other one with, like, the rancid remains and all that. Okay. Up. And you know, we'll head in. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, man, just as my rest bonus runs out. All right, let me try to find some stone. Then we'll go in. Okay. I got my rested bonus. I also was a little too close to that fire and took some smoke damage. This side has no door. There's a door there. Carefully. I want to rule out anything that's not blocked by a door? Just to make sure nothing can sneak up on me. Oh, feathers. Oh, I really want feathers. Uh, I'll leave the meat behind. I want the feathers more than the meat. I need arrows. This was a dead end. Okay, head back. This way there was a door? Yeah. Another dead end? Oh, another door. Okay. A lot of doors. Another dead end. This is not... <laughs> not have the best luck with this. Alright, that means back across to this side. I need to uh, break down this campfire. I think it's filling the place with smoke. Yeah, see, so you can't breathe in the smoke. Grab all these. There definitely sounds like something scary on the other side of this door. Maybe not? More doors. Okay. Dead ends. Wow, really? Nothing? Alright, well at least there's a enemy behind this one. Oh, is that a spawner? It is a spawner. Is the spawner close enough? Not sure if it's close enough for me to knock it out with this. Because that would be ideal. See. Oh, rancid guy's still back there. I don't see the purple anymore, so maybe it did take out the spawner at least. I can hope. All right, let's uh, op open the door. Rancid Remains Trophy. Yep, nope, don't care. Okay, this is good. This is going to tell us where the Elder is. Oof. Okay. So to do the next boss, we have to come all the way down here. Which might be on this same continent. 
might be a totally different continent that we have to sail to. We'll have to do more exploring to figure that out. But two cores. So we've got our five. Not ideal to do two of these things and only get enough for one or the other. A smelter or a, uh, a kiln. But I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run home. I'm going to repair everything. And then I will get the kiln going. Oh, let me grab this mushroom. All right. Now I'm going to run home. <laughs> here we are. Swimming directly across from here. So I swam right across from here. It took me 88 stamina to do that at my current swimming level. The more you level up your swimming, the further you can get on your stamina. So right now, I can make that swim across there with this food arrangement. And I just made it. Uh, because I went from 97. Oh, I can't pick that up. And I had just a little bit of stamina left when I was done. Alright, um, how's my boar? Still taming. Gotta scooch over here so I don't make it angry. And let's repair my stuff. Okay. And what is it going to take to make my kiln? 20 stone. Okay, I've got that. I not really have to take the whole stack, but that was easier. Okay. So I'm going to put the kiln here for now just because I have all these piles of wood here left over from my building projects yeah I figured that was going to put me over let's put a chest next to it that I can put all my charcoal in and then we're going to give this so it'll take 25 wood at a time It'll spit back out 25 charcoal. And then you can go from there. All right, let me put this wood in here. Just to make it easier for myself, I'm actually going to break down these piles and put them in the chest. Come on. Okay, it's going to make me way encumbered. Oh, I don't even have space in my inventory. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so what I'll try to do is fill this entire chest with coal while I am mining. I mean, maybe at least half of it. Maybe not the whole thing, but get a significant amount of coal built up while I'm mining. And then by the time I have a decent amount of metal to smelt, I'll already have it done. That's the goal anyway. Oh, wrong button. More feathers. And I already did that. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Now that I've shown those, I'll probably do some um, off-camera work, finding more and exploring them. Once you've seen a couple, that's pretty much it. That's basically what they've got. Oops. That's what they all are about like, and we actually saw some pretty... Uh, Pretty gnarly ones. Not all of them have spawners. Both of those ones did. Both of them had a rancid remains. But some of them are much bigger and have a lot more cores in them, so hopefully I won't have to do 8,000 more of those. But I will not take you along for all of them. Let me put this away. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and put all this stuff away. I'll do that off camera. I'm going to call this one here. Um, I will pick up next time with doing some actual mining. We found some more copper. This one's actually like right in a section of meadow, actually. Uh, let me cross that off. So we've got four copper that we're already aware of. Five, I guess, since there's one up here. 
we'll start mining some of that. And I've got a little bit of tin already. We'll need a lot more. Um, I think it's two copper and one tin to make bronze. So we're going to need a lot of it. We're definitely going to need a lot of it. But that will be for next time. This time. Oh, I wanted to add too, in regards to the Elder, there are multiple boss locations, similar to how these two ended up right here. It will mark the closest one to wherever you are. So from here, it marked this one. If I find um, a burial chamber up here, it might mark one over here. It's going to mark whatever boss location is closest to where you find that little red stone thing. So we might have other options. As we explore, if this one's in a crappy spot, we might come across some others. But I will leave you here and I will see you next time, hopefully. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everybody.